All right, I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS, and uh, Shalom, and salutations to the hopeful elect, brethren out there pushing his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, and uh, as well the one third, which consists of the women and children who listen. Okay, and. Uh, this lesson is entitled Professional Hell Catchers. All right, because that's how brothers feel. And it's true. You know, the sincere brethren who knew know what they signed, like signed up for. And it's true. You know, what to say, how about Shimmy Shai? Everything in life, everything in your life uh, changes, you know, ups and downs. Okay, this picture right here is a screenshot of uh, Muhammad Ali. There's a quote from him, the greatest. Okay, one of the most phenomenal Israelite boxers ever. But him, he got entangled with the nation of Islam and the, and the nation of Islam and, and, and following Malcolm, uh, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, okay, and, and getting into that false religion, so what that equates is uh, being a devil worshiper, a Luciferian, okay, uh, get t tapping into homosexual things, you know, uh, going which ways and, you know, you you can look it up yourself, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't just say some shit just to sound smart. Just look it up. Do your due diligence. You can tell he's he was very tapped into the occult, okay? But that doesn't take away from his uh, talents as being a boxer. And it's, he quoted this. I says, I know I got it made while the masses of black people are catching hell. But as long as they ain't free, I ain't free, Okay. And, you know, nobody is compared to Muhammad Ali. Most likely will ever be compared. They try to say Colin Kaepernick, he's on. He's an asset, too. That's a chump, man. Uh, and and, and so-called black people, mainly, of the 12 tribes, idolizing. is They're idolizing this guy like he did something. You know, it did. The best thing was the reaction to what he did. Okay? That's the best thing. Him, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? But that's what he says. And I read the quote again. It says, I know I got it made while the masses of black people are catching hell. But as long as they ain't free, I ain't free. The greatest. So that's our people, man. We catch hell. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Bible, the real Israelites, Hebrew Israelites. We catch the most hell. We're at the bottom of the totem pole. We 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 eat the worst foods. We live in the worst places. We go to the we get the most worst education. If there ain't no education, you know we don't know who our true heritage is. You don't know yeah the name we have by Shimmy Al Shai. Okay, we're all kinds of messed up. You know we low down right now as a people. But the uh, but uh, but but the uh, hopeful we like brethren out there who pushing his word go out the, go out in the highways and the byways and who do shows. They catch hell for, for being in this truth. Okay? Because our Lord Yahweh Shai caught hell. He drunk a lot of uh, wine. He had to deal with he had to deal with Jake, man. Had to curse Jake out. You know. Yeah, he he was he, he had sorrows, man. Okay? Just me personally, I know when I first uh when I first, you know, had my spiritual birthday. I lost my family turned on me, woman turned on me, lost my car and my job it, within a year. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm still <laughs> recovering from that, you know? But the best thing is how you bounce back, you know what I'm saying, from catching hell. And that that, that makes you numb to a lot of this, especially because we living in the times we are now, 2017 going on 18. You can't let things, you know what I'm saying, get get you down. We're supposed to be pumped up in this truth right now. Dealing with the prophecies that's going on and brothers waking up, you know, it's like now we doing videos, 
you think about topics all day. You think about lessons, edifying lessons. You know what I'm saying? Looking up other scriptures, looking at other brothers' videos, looking at the news. You know what I'm saying? Looking at other videos that's edif that you can do a lesson on. Watching movies, doc, you know, documentaries, going out in nature. You know, the scripture, hey, it says occupy till I come, you know. Because once you get down, after catching hell, you get down in the dumps. You know what I'm saying? That's when Satan, that's what Satan wants you at. And I'm not saying you can, you got to go around being jolly and laughing all the time. Yeah, we laugh, we joke, but most of the time we're, we're uh, serious. Okay. We got personalities and all of this, but most of the time we're serious. We're on guard. You know what I'm saying? We in this truth. You know, anything can happen in a second. So we got to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, focused. You know, a lot of people ask us and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You so serious and this, this and that. Hey, that's how you got to be, man. You wouldn't understand, you know, especially brothers who introverted. They like, huh, they see shit coming. Hey, boom. You know, they leave it how it is. You know, this is the book of Hebrews 12, 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth. Every son whom he receiveth. Right, so the Lord chasten you when uh, when you you know uh you know then you know he's he's dealing with you on a level, man. When you catch in hell, you, you seem like you can never get a break, you know. And when you're not catching hell, you you wonder why you're not catching hell. <laughs> so you're accustomed to it, you know, bills, payments, demons out here, the spirits on people, you know. Ailments. Verse 7. If ye endure chasten, the most high dealeth with you as with as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Right. I, so I basically just jumped the gun. So basically he says, For for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Right, because the scriptures say the uh, servant is not greater than a master. So you, you can't expect just you know what I'm saying? Sunshine and lollipops in his truth. You know, he's supposed to, he's going to be some dark days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, the scriptures say we die daily, man. We got to shed off what all we did in the world and keep repenting. You know, that's the goal. Staying on track, man. You know, staying away from all the distractions and the BS in this society. Because there's many, man. Women, you know, your job. Everything is a distraction if it's not uh, involving the truth, pushing his word, you know. The rest is just a distraction, you know. So you got to be within the brotherhood. That's that's our consolation on the side, the brotherhood, you know. We can learn, you know, so any given time of the day, you know. A lot of shit happens when you... You try to have interactions and be around people that's not in this truth, like hanging out with two-thirds a lot and all of this. You might have some buddies, you know. Uh, they they don't they they might know they Hebrew Israelites, you know, from a tr from the different tribes and and still can't get down with it, you know. Or they might scoff, you know. what I'm saying you might you know lose a relationship there, man. But really, you know, you got to deal with. You got to be in contact with people who you love and that love you back. And that's how you, you know what I'm saying? You get happy in this truth, man. Okay? You, 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 you're not so sad when you, when you cut out all the bullshit that you're doing in this life. Well, Muhammad Ali couldn't, couldn't flee away from the bullshit. This dude was popping everybody. Uh, all the women, Hollywood, overseas, he was popping all women. He had wives that he had allegedly had. Uh, basically beat up and all this, you know, uh, uh, uh d dealing with Holly weird and all that madness, you know what I'm saying, uh, with Satan, you know, that's why we don't care about getting any type of fame or any type of notability in this, this world, because this world is sick, man, Satan rules it, why would you want to be down with Satan, man? you know? I sure the hell don't. Let me get that word chasten. 
to correct to or to correct by punishment or suffering right so we have and suffering you know we, that that that's synonymous with patience that's what patience means to suffer you know having having that patience you know we got to be very patient in this world man driving okay uh, on a daily basis you have to be patient man or you'll lose it <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got to be a whole totally totally new a different person man it says to correct by punishment or suffering right cuz we 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 still might uh, we still are, you know what I'm saying, dealing with things that we did in our past lives and things, and the Lord are chastening you for it. That's just how the, you know, that's how the Most High does it. You know, hey, this is a scripture that says, if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, Second Samuel 7 and 14, but we under grace right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like in a, uh, you know, uh, in the ancient world, you know. By where the law, you know what I'm saying, you got caught on the Sabbath working or something, you know what I'm saying? You are gonna be a, it's gonna be uh um you're gonna disciplinary action behind that. And that's why we have Yahweh Shai. Cause it tell you, you know, I think the book of Matthews how he saved an ox or I think it was on the Sabbath. And that's what's just examples given from us uh through Yahweh Shai. Okay, how to be spiritual. How the law is spiritual. Through grace, man. You know, Yahushai uh, came and set that example. We have the best example in Yahushai. All right. This is an A and B suffix of what it means to prune something. And I see the prune is to be imprudent, man. That's what I think of being prudent. You know, I'm catching hell being prudent. Like, well, damn, did I go off? I forgot to pray, you know what I'm saying, I forgot to pray, say a prayer over this, I forgot to do this and that, and the Lord, Lord is, you know what I'm saying, put the belt to you, so to speak, you know, to, to, prune, to prune some something such as a work or style of art, of excessive pretense or falsity, to cause to be more humble or restrained, he was chastened by his team, his defeat. Con, man. So, you know, like you in the world, you got a whooping, you know what I'm saying? You was humble. The whole, you know what I'm saying? You cry, you know what I'm saying? Snot, bubbles, and t tears, and mumbling, you know what I'm saying? You humble, man. You go to sleep. You wake up looking around in the house, you know what I'm saying? Being quiet. You humbled, man. Because you did, you did some whole shit that you wasn't be supposed to be doing. But we in this flesh, we can't be perfect. You know, that's why... You know, it's better to be to improve. You know what I'm saying? Know what you're doing wrong. Learn from your mistakes. But yeah, we catching hell. You know? But we're getting more, you know what I'm saying, accustomed to it so it's not that bad. This is a uh, Second Corinthians 4, 17 through 18. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us at a far more exceeding and internal weight of glory. While we not, while we, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are 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 not seen, right? So you'd be so down, you know what I'm saying? Thinking you're catching hell, like damn, what is, what I do or what I, you know what I'm saying? What's next? You know what I'm saying? This is so bad, you know. Why the most I doing this to me? Especially for brothers who first come in, and like you brothers that's you know, a year in or less than a year, you know what I'm saying? This is this is this is what it means, you know. what I'm saying it's a light affliction, cause it can be way worse, man. You know. And we, hey, we gotta look for the kingdom of heaven, okay. So for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are internal, eternal, huh? So the things that you have are temporal, man. You can get. You ain't really got nothing in this society because anything could break break down. It does. You know what I'm saying? With Buy some new shit. A couple months go by. It's broken. Somebody stole it. You know what I'm saying? Because we're, we're lowly men. We're meek men. We don't have a lot of riches. You know, some brothers got more than others. That's what the body hood's for, the brotherhood, you know, to, uh, to help other brothers out, you know, through tithes and so on and so forth. Staying, you know, in our, you know what I'm saying, uh, Spiritual hug, as this 
so to speak, you know. But it's a light affliction for right now, you know. And Lord willing, we, you know, get out of here so we can stop catching this hell, man. You know, because it's just little, you know what I'm saying, little things add up. You know, you don't want to explode and get carnal. The scriptures say, be angry and sin not. You don't want to get so angry. It's so like you're mad, angry and mad that you do something that's going to affect your life, man, in a big way. You know, so you got to, certain, certain situations you just got to walk away from or ignore. And then you have some you have to act on. You know? Con. Right. So, well, yeah, we catching this hell. Jake's catching hell. Ben catching hell. So-called black woman's catching hell. But, it, but it's, 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 it gets you excited and happy because Esau's catching hell. <laughs> okay, we professional hell catchers. We, pro, we pros at this. But Esau's catching hell. So-called white man and white woman. Poor, homeless Bugged out, bugged out out of opioids, opies, crystal meth, begging for money on the uh, on the side of the road, man. You laugh at Edomites like that. You know they're two time losers. Okay, you help our people out. You know what I'm saying? You might give them a couple change, some change and stuff. But hey, forget these heathens, man. You know they won't be grateful if you give them anything, anyways. They're they're heathens. Okay, the most high is not dealing with. Uh, other nations, you know, they're, they're, the Lord is flipping, flipping the, uh, flipping the terms. You know what I'm saying? Around flipping everything around. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going, we gonna do unto them double. That's what the scripture says, man. All right. And Lord willing, we gonna uh, put their ass in slavery, hardcore, under Yahweh Shai in the kingdom, man. And with that, I hope that was edifying to you, brothers. Uh, all praise to Yahweh by Shema Double honors to the uh, elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.